All right, progress report. Um, the part just came in. This is the new ECU. I'm gonna slap it in. Everything else in the back's already done. So uh, I'll get this in, turn the key, and here's hoping we'll have good news. baby Ooh. she's blowing a lot of dust around and you can smell it clearing all that gas out but it's running all right so a quick recap on what actually happened um i came to the city i dropped off warren and then i was doing some chores to pick up before i picked up uh julien from govan.com and uh, my van broke down before I was able to pick him up. Broke down in a really rich neighborhood, which kind of sucked, and then he had to Uber over to the van. He spent one night with me in the van, and then uh, I woke up in the morning and then like started vlogging about it. Uh, got a tow, finally, because I couldn't find a tow truck company that would actually haul this van, and then I towed it to the only mechanic that would work on it, or said they would work on it, um, which is another problem. If you have an old van, a camper van, you know what I mean, it's hard to find a mechanic that will work on any kind of RV. And then it's also hard to find mechanics that will work on older vehicles. So it's just kind of like a double whammy of crappy situations. And I landed up at the place and it turned out to be in a really crappy neighborhood off of Colfax Avenue, which uh, I didn't know and I don't know um, the area that well. So I had no idea when I pulled in and uh, it became very evident very quickly. Now, uh, some of the employees at that mechanic shop really do match up with uh, the neighborhood a little bit so for instance one of the guys i was dealing with predominantly was drunk the entire time i was dealing with him and he wasn't like off his freaking rocker drunk he was just like regularly kind of an asshole and then as he drank like straight liquor while he's working he just became more of an asshole and more difficult and kind of temperamental to deal with so that wasn't fun and then on top of that these mechanics i was expecting kind of like or hoping for like some sort of like legendarily amazing veteran mechanic who's been around the block who's seen it all and instead what i got were just kind of like i mean average mechanics there's nothing wrong with them it's just expecting the average mechanic to know how to deal with uh like a 92 dodge b350 it's just not in their purview of like expertise. So as a result, they ordered the wrong parts a couple times. And when they finally did get around to ordering an ECU, they ordered it from like a really slow distributor. And so eventually I just had to like, listen, just cancel the order, cancel everything else. I'm gonna run across town. I finally found one that would like overnight it to me. I'm like, I'll order the ECU. It was like $40 cheaper from these other guys. Plus it was um, there sooner, just a little bit sooner, but anyway. Real kind of pain in the ass, but it came around and worked out in the end. And now I have a running van and about a seven hour drive ahead of me to catch up with uh, Julien. So yeah, the reason that I'm catching up with him, why I'm so frantic about it is because like, I was supposed to be doing a lot of photos for him, like with the Go Van situation. We have some sponsors, which by the way, check out this shirt, rad, right? That's one of the sponsors. Um, so yeah, check out his, his uh, his Instagram by now all the photos should be up on his stuff so you can uh, you can see the work that I did do and why I was so frantic to like catch up with him and get it done <sighs> but yeah I'm happy the van is running we're gonna hit the road commence a seven hour driving montage good night
So I made it safe and sound in one piece, met up with uh, Julien, who's holding the camera right now. And he actually picked up all my mail because Kathleen from Tiny House, Tiny Home had a lot of my mail. Um, she has a P.O. box and I don't. So I got all kinds of stuff, including a cool package from Jess, who was uh, traveling with me not too long ago. She just gave me all these crazy like camping gear things. It's micro light. Anyway, and this very, very nice letter. And this is, this is the best part because she really wants to be able to sail boat out too. Sailing a serious ocean. <laughs> I like that. This man knows what's up. Okay. Well, I got a lot of research to do and uh, yeah, but for tonight, we're just gonna have a couple beers, chill out. All right, good night. Cheers. <laughs> oh, look at the scarf for Chip. Chip, come here. Thank <laughs> you.